Amen. 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 I want you to sit down. I'm, I'm going to be very quick. Today is going to be a matter of prayer service. And I'm going to pray, lead this prayer in a few minutes. Because it seems to be that a lot of things will go on today. And for that purpose, I will be snappy as, as possible. But this morning, I just want to remind you that we are in the season of Thanksgiving. Tell your neighbor we are in the season of Thanksgiving. Ask your neighbor, neighbor, have you actually given thanks to God? You know, some people, whenever you see them to give thanks, what they replicate as only giving thanks is whenever they come and kneel down and say, thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. But when your thanksgiving do not propagate its gospel, it's not a thanksgiving. The reason why your testimony can turn things around and make the devil to flee is so that it could touch somebody's life and propagate somebody's life. And the only way to propagate it, gospel, is one of the ways is when you come to thank God, you give. So, and this year, the Lord has done so many things for us. And for that purpose, I believe it is your own time to give thanks to God. And I pray for you. As you give thanks to God, may he give you that which thou desirest in Jesus' name. And I hear you say better amen. This morning, I want to talk in a few minutes what I titled, Being Grateful to God. Touch your neighbor, say, Being Grateful to God. Being Grateful to God. For you to succeed on earth and receive your sustenance, you must be grateful to God. It was not so foolish for Christ to ask those he healed of leprosy and he asked the man where are the remaining people so God needed to receive thanks from them and that was why he demanded an answer I'm going to be very snappy take me to Psalm 95 verse 2 the book of Psalm 95 verse 2 may the season of thanksgiving never cease in your family and in your life Amen Season of Thanksgiving is a time you and your family celebrate. It is good for you to celebrate. As I'm talking to you, at the end of this year, people are mourning. A lot are crying. But what have we uh, said to God who has given us smiles on our face? Let me hear you. 95 verse 2. Psalm 95 verse 2. Uh-huh. Let us come before he said, let his us presence come before his presence with thanksgiving. With what? Thanksgiving. I didn't hear you. With what? Thanksgiving. With, with, with thanks and what? Given. Given. Yes. And make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. He said when you are coming to thank him, you don't just come to thank him. You are coming to thank him with what? Eh? I can't hear you with what? You are going to dance. Celebrate. That's why, do you know sometimes when people give offering in the church, they walk as if there is a machine pushing them from somewhere to give. When you want to give God an offering, you give it with joy and dance to God as you want to give. And he said, let us come to his presence with what? We are coming to his presence with what? He didn't say you should come here sleeping. He didn't say you should come here. Come and be looking as if you, you have not seen me before. He said when you are coming, come with thanks. And your what? Your giving. You don't come empty handed. And when you want to thank God for what he has done. That means when you are coming, you must have to come 
with something that signifies abundance. Let your family be noticed of your thanksgiving so that heaven notices your thanksgiving. Make the noise. Shout on top of your voice. That's a crazy dance like David. Celebrating for giving you life. I was two days ago, I was in New York for a ministration. I came in yesterday night. Now, as they were taking me from Inkote Beni to Uyo Airport for me to come back, as we were driving, one of my action daughters now busted out in tears. And as she was crying, I didn't understand. And I said, I looked at her, why are you crying? She said, she is now looking at what God has done. How God has blessed her. How things has turned around. The elevations and everything. He said, but I remember when I was in school, my mother died. And my mother was so young. And she died. There is something I didn't understand much in that story. Maybe she said, said that when I went to buy something like pizza. Either maybe buying that pizza or the process that she died. But the thing that caused her tears was that her mother was not alive to see her being celebrated. When she was giving that story, the young man that was driving us, who happens to be the husband PA, now said to her, Madam, stop crying. How about me? That was in my second year and my father and my parents died. Then I now began to see that there are people when they tell their story and you tell your own, then you see that there are reasons why you should give thanks to God. Brother, when you hear other people's story, you will go and buy a cow and dance and give to God. If you could remember one film we made one time, we titled it. Is that grateful? I'm grateful. I've forgotten the title. If, if you watch that movie of a young man and a young lady, I think the lady was pushing the husband, whatever, whatever, because the husband can bring out money for them to eat good food without knowing that there is another family somewhere that cannot eat good food. Last week, a pastor called me. He said to me, sir, I want to come and pastor in your church. He said, but I need one challenge. I have one problem that you could solve for me. I said, what is that problem? He said, please, sir, can you support me to pay for one room? Kai, one room. Now, because of one room, you want to pastor, you want to just do. See my message from this request. My message from this request is that... He wants to come and serve somewhere only to get a little comfort that you can give up for free. When you hear people's story, my brother, you will thank God. Some people will tell you, I have seen people postponing, postponing Thanksgiving. No, the money, no, the way I want to thank him, no. Let, let me prepare. No. If I finish the house, I'm building. No. If I finish the house, I want to build. Let me tell you, anybody that postponed that Thanksgiving always postpones his miracle. I don't know if I'm talking here. Anybody that always postponed his Thanksgiving always postpones his what? His miracle. If you cannot thank God when you have 10,000, when you have 10 million, brother, you can never do what? Thank God. We are in the season of Thanksgiving and that is why I and my family, no matter the situation, I will do what? I will thank God. The song says, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. When you look back, if you count five, six houses from where you live, you will count how many people that died. If you go to your street, you will hear story of people going to burial. 
You will hear news. You hear how many accidents and families that are. When you come out, you see that God was able, God provided for you for you to pay your rent. At the end of the day, you cannot stand up and say, Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. For everything you have done. For the world you gave to me, I say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For everything you have done. Somebody walked to me the other day. He says, as I'm talking to you, I and my family had nothing to, nothing to eat. I said, we do not have nothing to eat as today. There is children, there is grandchildren. But he made a provision you have where you're living. Instead of you to thank God, you say you are tired of the safe container or two-bedroom that you want to buy. We are not against you buying a building. But for the little he has given to you, there are other people that are praying for that little. And they have prayed. As I were coming to church this morning, my wife told me about her friend. My wife told me about her friend. Now, what did he say? She said, because the, 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 her phone rang about 5 36 in the morning. I was like, who is waking us up by this time? He said it was her friend. What did she say? She said that she doesn't know how to say it, but that she she is in fact that she is tired of God. And she was like, why would you make such comment? He said, nothing, nothing is working in my life. Now, and I said, what exactly did she point out more? He said, she was talking about marriage, no marriage, sisters, no marriage, the elder sister, no marriage, nobody is happy. Now, and I said, the major thing is not that God has not settled her. It's just that there is one thing she needs that she has not gotten. Because if she dies, she won't even pray for marriage. So at least the key thing, that thing the Bible said that we overcome by the word of our word. And for word of our word, for the life being has given to you, you can just say, you say, thank you, Lord. only remember to thank God when they were sick and got healed. Let me repeat it again. There are people who can only remember to thank God when they fall sick and later receive their healing. Then that is the time you will see them carry one bag of rice. They will be dancing. Because they were sick and healed. Now, if sickness didn't come and they didn't go to hospital, they will not give thanks to God. Without them knowing that the most miracle God did was never to allow the sickness to come in the first place. I don't know if I'm talking here. Hello, church. Some people will only give thanks to God that they were involved in accident and they didn't die. Do you know that somebody who was not involved is better than you? The reason is that it is better that God prevented it not coming to existence than you allowed it and it came. Maybe God by his mercy rescued you. So that is why you should not wait to experience evil first before you thank God. That is why in the bottom of your heart, 
At the end of every year, which is the season of Thanksgiving, you and your family, Kai, I prefer borrowing money, giving thanks, than borrowing money, going to the hospital. We are in a season of Thanksgiving. What have you made up your mind to thank God with? Are you among those that are complaining? The money I have is the one I will use to travel to Christmas. Now, let me say something to you. You didn't thank him for protecting you. Now, on your way to Christmas, accident occurred. You didn't die. You were injured. You went to the hospital. Now, two things have happened to you. That money for Christmas goes where? To the hospital. Your health is deteriorated. Now, you are earning the pants. You didn't get to the village. They are even looking for money how to send you back to Lagos from the midway. I have seen people, the thing happened to like that, many of them. And at the end of the day, and why did the finger of God stood still of rebuking it? Just because you were not appreciative to him that he guided you from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. Can you see foolishness? A lot of people have been so foolish without understanding how it is to overcome the enemy by the word of your word. Testimony. There are people as I'm talking now, they have saved 100,000, 500,000, 1 million to travel. On the Thanksgiving day, they cannot buy a goat of 20,000 to give thanks to God. They cannot buy a bag of rice. They cannot help the poor. They cannot go to the homeless and bless them. If you know what God has done for you and your family, good health. Look at somebody like me now. From January to December, I don't go and lie in the hospital. I don't know how many people that have that kind of grace with me here. And at the end of the day, you don't give thanks to God. God forbid one day you go lie in the hospital. When they bring out the budget of your expenses, then you will now say, if I would have known, by then it would have been so late. Be appreciative and understand the mystery. Lifting the little you have, you say, thank you, thank you. Lord. For everything you have done for me, Lord, I say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you, you have done in my family. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything. To Psalm 103, verse 1 to 5. Psalm 103, from verse 1 to 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless and his holy name. And all the Lord that is within me, bless his holy Bless the Lord, O my soul. Uh -huh. And forget not all his benefits. He said, forget not all the benefits the Lord has given to you this year. He gave you life. He delivered you from sicknesses. He delivered you from accidents. He never allowed you to sleep and die from there. A lot of people at your age die. But he gave you life. Remember all the benefits. Yes. Who forgave all thy iniquities? He forgave all thy iniquities. All the calamity you committed. He forgave you and still hear your prayer when you are in time of trouble. Who healed all thy diseases. All the sicknesses that came, the enemy proposed to take away your life. He took it away. Who redeemed thy life from destruction. Hmm. Who always protect you for you to die from motor accident. From you to die from assassins and kidnappers. You need to thank him. Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Anytime you cry, he answers you because of his crown of mercies. Kai, kai, kai. Ay. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things. As every time when he looks at you, he smiles and gives you something good. 
so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle. So that as you grow, you are renewed as an eagle with the strength of joy in you. Kai. It's a prayer for somebody. It's a prayer for somebody. I hear something. It's a prayer for somebody here. Kai. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Rise up on your feet now. In my family, we say thank you. You're going to pray. It's a sin when you don't thank him for what he has done. It's a sin. Let me say it again. It's a sin when you don't thank him for what he has done. Lack of appreciation has kept you where you are. You got to ask God for mercy for not appreciating what he has done. Ask him forgiveness of sin to forgive you. Pray that prayer. To wash away my sin. Now I can sing. I can a sing. Brand new song. Oh, Amazing oh, grace. Oh, 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 oh. Lord Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. Lord Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. He's not by my. He's not by my. Not by my power. Not by power. My my power. Spirit says that Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. Can I hear you say a better amen? Can I hear you say a better amen? 